Hey everyone, uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Halo 4. Um, close to that ship, we're dead. I, I have an idea. Head for that waypoint. I have an idea. It's gonna be great. Waypoint. You know, I never used Halo Waypoint. I don't know if it's any good. I think this uh, support for the service, and if you didn't know, it was a thing that would like synchronize your Halo progress before the Master Chief Collection was on PC, I think. Uh, yeah, I never used it. I never needed to or had a chance to use it, so I didn't, but... Oh, man. It just occurred to me, can you get, like, different Chief action figures? Like, one of them will have a shield, one of them will have a jetpack, and one of them will have, like, a sentry. And they'll all have different guns. Like, one will have the storm rifle and, like, a needler. And one will have, like, standard human space guns. Guess I'm going this way. I see that. He's turning it into a very simple jumping puzzle. Man, hard light. I guess it just can't get through flesh, huh? You know, it j this just occurred to me, but I actually don't know the damage values for the hard light weapons. For the Promethean guns. Because normally, you use... Uh, Plasma for shields. And you use bullets for flesh. So do you use, like, hard light for shields even more, and it's even worse on flesh? Might have gotten stuck there. I don't know if I just didn't recognize the thing. He's very slightly altering the tower, hoping to inconvenience you so you'll give up. Be careful, Chief. You're at risk of a stub toe. Actually, I joke, but, like, stubbing my toe was one of my favorite moments in Cry Fear. I was recently thinking about that LP, um, and if you didn't know, I LP'd Cry Fear, which is a horror game. Uh, it's actually a mod made for Half-Life, one of them. I think it's Half-Life 1. Uh, I'm hitting something. There you go. Nope. Stop that. Anyway, so yeah. If you fucking run around a corner too quickly in Cry of Fear, you will hit your toe on the corner. And you will stub it. And you'll, you'll stop, you'll come up short, and you won't take damage, but you'll take a little hit of stamina damage, because, like, obviously, when we're talking about getting hit with hammers and knives and guns and bullets and nails, you know, you don't really have to worry about things like a little toe stub, especially if you have shoes on. Jesus, fine. Nope, you better stop that. I love that one thing that has been kept consistent is that uh, emplacement guns will suffer overheat when being fired too much. But they'll have infinite ammo. Because, like, they've got a little thing on the floor. Obviously. Alright, why well, fuck around with this? Not gonna get anywhere. Uh, and then the second you rip them off. Nice. Your own shield saved my life, dumbass. Hmm. Hey, I've got a little pip of health left, though. That seems to really speed up your uh, shield regeneration, the more of it you have left. 
I don't know if that's uh, exactly a wise choice. I would think you would want to, you know, make it easier to kill people who are doing really good. And, uh, like, make it easier to stay alive. Though I guess that's a multiplayer balance thing. I've mentioned a little that I don't play a lot of multiplayer. Blood cover more of our galaxy with each passing day. They feast on the essence of life itself. The only way to stop their advance is to remove that life upon which they feast. My life workers have made plans for the receding of humanity and of all life after the Halos are fired. So you agree the Halos are our only solution? These subtitles are not. And your husband? My husband has a different opinion of what steps to take against the flood. Did it work? Run the simulation. Sir, it's a little wobbly. The procedure is a failure. I am still susceptible to flood infection. That leaves only the Composer. It will not work on my new form. Then you will lead us as always. You would submit to such sacrifice. Didact, if the Composer is our final hope to defeat the flood, no Promethean would resist. I have led you, my Prometheans, for thousands of years. They're almost like a motion and comic, I shall you know? Continue to lead you. They're not properly animated. Rise! Rise! And protect the Forerunners! I wonder why. Because I know that they did that in the original Halos. And protect the galaxy! Yeah, they did that in the original Halos, probably be because of budget reasons, considering all the other budget things that went on. Oh. Oh. We. We need to be there yesterday. Well, yesterday we were busy. Send them an IOU. Oh yeah, guys! I just picked up this thing. This is actually a mirror match as they go, right? Because they also are equipped with fuel rod cannons. Okay, there goes one. The other one should. Nope. There goes that one's armor. Uh-oh. You're alive? Alright, let's see if I can't get myself a better gun. Storm Rift. That's nah, okay. So I guess the didact and the uh, librarian were married. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Forerunners are uh, pretty human and there's a lot of different uh, significant romantic pair bondings across a lot of human cultures. That isn't working. At least not how I'd like it to. Man, troll the bridge, huh? Yowza. Hmm. I'm running out of ideas here. 
Hey, honey. Fine by me. Uh, I'm gonna go back and pick up that one bullet I'm missing. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of these guns feel like they wanted to have more human weapons. And like, the binary rifle is just a, uh, is, is just like a sniper rifle, but with a smaller clip. So it's balanced a little better. Whoa, gnarly. I recognize that that was a plane I was standing next to, but I think I've got to solve these. Hmm. Seen a lot more problems than I wanted here. Stop shooting me. How impolite. Uh, man, these things. Man, you know what I don't fear? Stationary targets. Hell yeah. Nothing like a good evasive maneuver. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like the lack of giving, uh, jibbing, in fact, is another reason for like, I feel like there are some Halo games that are actually rated T for teen. Would you think it would be weird considering it's such a hallmark of, like, the shooter? Come on, give me the next one. But yeah, Halo is possible to do in a, in a, like, in a context that doesn't make it, like, family unfriendly. Man, this thing's, uh, last legs, huh? Pardon me, everyone. Oh, God! You almost feel sorry for him. That guy's going back to his family to flower pot. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. We had a check. That's good. I've got just two huge, like, fuck off power weapons as well. That, that really works for me. Like, the fact that it disintegrates and possibly digitizes digit 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 uh, your things, your your opponents, when you hit them with one of those. Sorry. Has something been going on? Wait, is my crazy AI going crazy, says Master Chief? We all know what happened, Cortana. Track those liches. We can go across them to get to the Didact ship. Wait, across them? Oh, uh, we're gonna do some fucking stupid ass Fast and the Furious shit. There, there are several liches moving in formation towards the Didact ship. 
We're gonna have as many as I need. When I die, I don't die. Like this? I guess so. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Shout out to that gel layer. Oh, good thing I had a jet pad. Cortana, what's happening? I don't know. Hang on. Is this the dumbest thing Chief has ever done? I honestly don't know. There's a lot in the running. It's certainly one of the coolest. Easy. Fuck off. Is that a giant mecha? Okay. It's just a big boat. That's fine. It's a fucking reaper. Oh, it's a giant enemy space lobster. They're jumping into slip space. Get below deck. No time. We never really get to use the jetpack without gravity, and I think they mentioned that that's really what it's for. Because, like, um... With... With most jetpacks, you know, Earth's gravity is too hot. You, you can't do that, you know? But on other planets, you know, people have been like, hey, we could use a planet, uh, like, a, like, a, like a Venus jetpack, you know? Because Venus is a real, real shithole, and it would be a lot, a lot easier to get around that, you know, garbage trash planet with a jetpack. I hope Commander Del Rio is just shitting his pants somewhere. Oh, big ship! You can't come into this uh, biosphere. It's a, uh, it's illegal. Go home. Donna, Fucking. Yeah, there's a lot of science given to the fact that like jetpacks are cool. Installation three. It's where Infinity found the coordinates for Requiem. Then why are they bypassing it? Because the composer's not on the ring. What are you waiting for? That station's not going to save itself. Put me into the console. This is UNSC Master Chief to base. Do you read? Yes, I read you. This is Sandy Tilson of Ivanov Station. We're under attack. There I'm aware. The Forerunner artifact you took from the Halo Ring. How do you know about that? Doctor, I need you to protect that artifact until we arrive. Send whatever... Do you know what that condescending bitch said to me after our first game of chess? Cortana. Even I don't call it my name anymore. Correct your approach. Yes, well, he also said he works better alone. I can see why you chose him, Catherine. Cortana. I'm your greatest achievement at you detect. Hold up. Now. Hey, that's... We'll make it. Again. They love doing that. Wow. Because, um... You know, iconic cutscene of, like, we'll make it. We won't make it. No, we'll make it. And then they didn't make it. Can't stop them. From Halo 1. Dr. Tilson, are you there? God. When your signal cut off, I can... Doctor, listen to me. You have to issue the order to evacuate the station. We've been trying. The Covenant, they've already taken over the landing base. All right. Your coordinates. I'll see what I can do about clearing an evac route on my way to you. Uh-huh, no? Whoa. That's new. Uh, but yeah, and then later in Halo 2, Arbiter does the same thing, except... Enough out of you, sir. Arbiter does the same thing to highlight the similarities between him and Chief, because, like, Chief really, are, Chief and he really are just two sides of the same coin. Oh, 
Who now? Yeah, that's a, uh... That's a very dark take on we'll make it. That's a... I like that. That's really funny, actually. Like... Because it, it is grim, and it makes you, it makes you sad. Because, like, wow. Of all of the times that we, we wouldn't have made it, that was a big one where we wouldn't have made it, though. It's a very, like, common screenwriting thing to, like, take something that was kind of funny and put, like, a sad twist on it, just to, like... Hey, beautiful. Uh... Just to fuck with the audience, and sometimes, and very easily, it can be done cheaply. You know? Are you still alive? You've got a lot of nerve. Past the elbow and below the wrist. Look out, evil. It's my fist. So not going that way. Ooh. What can we do to keep the Covenant out? Again, I don't think Chief could like reliably find like a bathroom to pee in. Assuming he had to pee. If Cortana didn't like already mark everything on his map for him. Harbor Master can do it, but we'll have to find it, Cortana. You'll have to find it. I'm gonna walk there and shoot everything in my way. But until then, you know. You just hook my coordinates up. Wow, that is a lot of power. I guess it's a, you know, RPG pistol. Actually, it might not be propelled at all. It might just be, uh... <laughs> oh man! Are you guys aware that your uh, boat was just going to become the corpse delivery system? I will say, they have dramatically improved the sound effect for the shotgun, if nothing else. Because I've had nothing but power weapons, I'm running out of anything that. Is there, a, uh, is there a button I've got to hit there? Oh, hi. Kind of weird that they changed the DMR to be, uh... Oh, cool. Changed DMR to be 14 rounds instead of 15. I don't know if that was, like, a super necessary balance patch, but, like, I don't know. I don't know too much about what goes on uh, backstage at 343. Um, Bungie was actually really open about a lot of their stuff. It was one of the things that made people really like Bungie. Because, like, Bungie had a... There, there was this one anecdote that I just adored. Bungie had to provide food for their employees, because, of course, they did. Or, or they didn't have to. I think they just wanted to. Uh... And so they were like, yeah, just find whatever the cheapest thing is and just buy us a lot of it. And so they sent, you know, some intern, just some rando intern to uh, a nearby grocery store. And he bought, like, several hundred pounds of bananas. And they were like, well, it's healthy. You know. That counts for a lot. You know, we're going to be able to, you know, feel a lot of stuff towards... There we go. Give me that one. Thank you. Gonna be able to field a lot of stuff, that's cool. Dr. Tilson, phase seven is secure and we're moving toward your position now. Really? 
Now, really sorry about this, Chief, but you are still a criminal, so I will have to arrest you when you're done saving everyone's life. Now, I am aware that, you know, the real world law does not work on the system of you're a cool guy so you get out of crimes. But I will say, if a case can be made that uh, an unjustifiable arrest was attempted. Then, uh, Commander Del Rio, every time I have to remember his name, uh, you know, could potentially lose his station and job. And I think he should. I, I don't think that he's of sound mind in any capacity. Wow, I really just dropped into the... Alright guys, all part of the plan. I'm taking... I'm... I'm, I'm drawing their fire. Did that grunt just take... They are! They're taking more than one concussion round to the face. Wow. Now that's a lot of enemies on my radar. But what that could mean is that somebody's cloaked near me. I mean, the assault rifle look good, man. Frankly, I'm surprised he's not searching all of Halo and that it didn't take him much longer. Starting to run dry on a lot of my stuff. Uh oh. Not gonna be good. Well, damn it. So it looks like the hard light reflects plasma rounds. I'm not sure if it reflects anything else. So Manly Guys Doing Manly Things used to be one of the best uh, webcomics of all time. I say used to be because uh, it is no longer updating. I see them. Man, imagine just the like, the vibe of seeing a guy just run into a room and solo two hunters. Now, what was this thing? I saw something that looked really neat. Thruster pack. Oh my god, it's an air dash. Anyway. Manly Guys Doing Manly Thing is the actual origin of the phrase generic space feature that I keep saying. Uh, it's a it's a very good comic. It just basically consists of all the like beefed out like overroided supermans, you know, super soldiers solving problems in the present day that don't require violence. The device you and try to reintegrate into society. The commander of that ship it's great. Back. So Chief's actually been featured in it because he is a manly guy. But that? as they go, he's you don't think you can remove. He's pretty well adjusted, you know. You can't leave the station. You know that, right? What do you mean? We don't have any choice, Doctor. It's not a matter of choice. I guess we'll all just have to die. And and the biggest starship the UNSC could throw at it just to relocate it here. Unless you're a lot stronger than you look. It's not going anywhere. Okay. 
Don't like your tone, you but you do make a good point. Death. It is pretty heavy. What for? If we can't move the composer, we have to make sure I feel like that would be a good thing to lead with, you know? Oh, wait. We have years of work invested here. Great. Is it that or all of humanity? Grade havoc mines. Just one of those would turn this base into a pinata. I'm sorry, Doctor. Keep routing your people to the evac centers. Once we take care of the composer, you won't have much time. I'll uh, make sure the nukes are primed so you can detonate them remotely. Maybe next time you rescue us? You can give us more time to pack. Next time. I'm glad that snappy one-liners are always on the menu. Also, I like the subtle implication by Chief that, like, yes, you will survive. And maybe I will save you again. And don't worry, I won't be as much of a bother. <laughs> like, Chief's a nice guy. He doesn't get to show it. Cool. Wow, yeah, so that's just a- that's a- that's a dash. That's great. And it works in the air. It is an air dash. Believe you me, I am very pleased with that. Uh, anyway, Manly Guy's doing manly things. Um, the main character is one commander badass. He's the most well-adjusted, beefed-out super soldier of all. So obviously he's in charge. You know. You know, it's not that he is the biggest or the strongest. That helps a lot. You know. But the fact that he, like... But the fact that he hit that he can outthink and uh, like calm down everyone, that's what that's what he's really here for. Seal the door behind me. Yes, sir. Composition whatever. Don't try to make it a thing. That's weird. Oh, that was the worst throw in the history of throws. How about that one? Anyway, Commander Badass still has some problems. Uh, his CO keeps trying to forcibly give him trauma because he thinks it'll make him a cooler soldier. Guys, come on, I'm running out of things here. There you go. Does he have a maximum range of like 30 feet or something? That works. I was trying to pick up something else, but... Anyway, Commander Badass gets a lawyer instead of, like, instead of, like, you know, becoming the, the cool super soldier that everyone wants him to be. He gets a lawyer. Uh, and his lawyer actually discovers that the commander is within his rights to resist this sort of thing, and his CEO is out of line. I know I could have uh, assassinated him, but... 
I am holding a large gun. And you know what? That really works for me. Anywho. Who shot that guy? Wow. Find Dr. Tilson. She'll get you to the evacuation area. Anyway, Chief rules in court that he uh, should be allowed to punch his uh, officer in the face just once. And because of the fucked up state of law that the generic space feature has, they totally allow him this. But here's the thing. Commander Badass does not go for it right then and there. It's enough that the officer knows that he can be punched in the face without repercussion. Even if it is just once. And it will happen to him sometime. And that's enough. Just the fact that at one point you will just be drilled to the face by a man designed to kill. And it's totally your fault. And boy, did you earn it more than anything. Is that a dud grenade? I didn't hear an explosion. Anyway, I think that's what Chief deserves. I think that'd be pretty cool. So this thing, um... Yep, heard that coming. Uh, back in the day, Chief had the ability to, like... Nope, back in the day, the elites had this thing where they would, like, dash around corners. Oh, that's where it is. Elites had this thing where they would uh, dash around corners. It was pretty neat, honestly. Uh, and that little defensive role became a, a hallmark of the elite, so much so that it was made into a skull. Um, specifically, that when the skull was turned on, enemies will use their little dash of aid option more. And uh, much like Sprint or Jetpack in Reach, um, you know, it's, it is a movement ability. And so it was made into an elite-only movement ability. Oh, that's glass in front of him, yes. Alright, where's this guy? Here he is! Damn! And there's no checkpoint or anything, so I've just got to do it raw. I'm aware. Sorry, I'm just focusing in hardcore because I don't want to do this a third time. Anyway. Alright. Is that the sword guy? Sure is. That's him coming up. Fine by me. Anyway, now that I can think and use my brain again. Uh, so yeah. It is a moving ability, so they were like, hey, what if we made this into like a thing? So, uh... I don't know if this is a mod or if this is official, but they made it so that you could just, as an elite, 
you could use a little, like, Dark Souls roll and get around with it. And it was a cool, useful ability, and it was fun. Uh, and it looks like they've given it a little more use. Because especially... Why would anyone need... Oh, God. Why would anyone need uh, to do their little, their little kick roll if sprinting is not something you can swap it out for, you know? Because replacing your sprint... All right. You're getting the big one, fella. Because replacing your sprint with um, uh, a dodge is, you know, that makes sense. But if you already have the ability to sprint no matter what, then why bother? But making it that much faster and have that much more cool stuff on it, that's rad. Quitana, the people are dying. Oh boy. Dr. Tilson, are you there? I'm here. Any luck? Cortana's bringing the defense grid online now. Okay. And also going fucking boinkers yoinkers. Broadcast the final evac orders. The nuke? We're rigging it now. Lead us back on the upper platform and we'll help you get it to the artifact. I wonder why they made Cortana naked. It's not like it would matter. There's this possibly apocryphal and absolutely fantastic uh, story from one Carrie Fisher with the angels now, of course, wherein uh, she talks about, damn, I want to get that spare gun. Oh, well. Wherein she talks about George Lucas describing to her how you can't wear bras in space. Because of gravity and other bullshit. And she's like, uh-huh. Yeah. That sure is a justification to see my boobs. But she did it anyway, because Scary Fish is a bad bitch. What was that? Ooh, lost the duel. That's okay. <laughs> they called me the librarian's pet. That's kind of funny. I guess it makes sense. All right. Hey guys. Right, just one of you come on out. I'm very interested in seeing one of you go toe to toe with me. Come on, I've got your sword. Doesn't this piss you off? Aren't you like, that's our holy weapon. You can't use that. Two eyes, two eyes. Haha! -ha! Come on, how long How long is the timer on those? That can't possibly be fair. Alright. He's coming up. So you better get this party started. Oh, fuck, it's so cool. Oh, I love this sword. I've talked about how great of a design this sword is. 
like how it fits with the elite aesthetic, how it fits with their uh, silhouette. Oh, we we mantis. The composer's location's compromised. You've got to get that nuke down here. Ready or not, I need it now. How long does it take to get a nuke ready? Honestly. Like, does the nuke need to put its makeup on? Like, what are we talking about here? You know, I've just noticed that, uh, in addition to not being able to sprint forever, I'm also not able to shoot a large gun forever. And I'm thinking, maybe it's just this controller. My PS4 uh, controllers have all been through the ringer. It's a cry and shame, but what can you do? I really want to get a nice uh, Xbox Elite controller. Come on, I want to blow up the boat. Let me have this. Damn. Oh well. I regret to inform you, Sword Elite. Did that thing just stop, like, start dead? That's funny. Okay, that one's live, at least. Cool. Glad to see it. What's next? You? That's it? Alright. If you insist, I will open fire. Pardon me, but is that a, a man... Is that a grunt on a... Like, earth cannon? Oh man, how awesome would Halo be if, like, it took place in an alternate universe where, like... Because, like, one of the cool things about Halo is that Earth technology still has Earth aesthetics. But it's mostly caught up with, uh, with the aliens. And, like, how great would it be... If, like, it took place in an alternate universe where, like, that wasn't the case. Where, like, it wasn't the future for weapons, just for space travel. And, like, Earth was still, like, ramming guns and using black powder and cannons. But alien plasma weaponry is only at about that level anyway, so it's, it's pretty much the same. The iridescence of the Banshees looks really interesting here. They look almost white or silver. I've seen more Banshees come in too close and try to turn around and die that way. You know, we lose more Banshees that way. Man, that guy came off the boat ready to suicide. I don't feel confident in the outcome of this mission. Mostly because I feel like we're going to have to have the die to get a hold of the thing, and then we're going to have a cool boss fight with him. You know, after he's hyped up on power. But then we'll get it back from him anyway.
man. You know, I somehow feel like this isn't faster than running. Especially with an air dash. Ooh, that's a pit, huh? I can't believe they put an air dash in Halo. I'm very glad that they did. Oh, actually, been recording a while. Probably time. It is. Uh, that's the episode, then, everyone. Thank you for coming. Um, what part is this? Is this, like, six? Last Next one might be the last one, honestly. Um, there's only, like, eight missions in here, and I think the first one's a cutscene anyway. So, uh, yeah, we're running out of time. Running out of missions. Um, I've decided I'm going to do Spartan Ops. Because when looking at Spartan Ops, I was like, wow, I always thought that Spartan Ops would be so cool, and I never got a chance to do them. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do them, because, hell yeah, I like, I like the idea of it. Uh, so we're gonna do that. Um, but until then, I've been Alfred, this has been Halo 4, thank you guys for coming. Uh, everyone have a good day. Bye.